It's a powerful committee that makes policy recommendations for one of San Antonio's largest school districts. Tonight, controversy around a woman appointed to Northeast ISD's School Health Advisory Council. Crystal Keene's husband convicted for his role in the riot at the U.S. Capitol and continued to post controversial material on social media even after being released from federal custody. As case head investigates Dylan Collier found, Keene herself has been a frequent critic of the district that she now represents. Last month, Northeast ISD School Health Advisory Council, or SHAC, held its first meeting of the school year. Among the new members tasked with providing the district guidance on topics ranging from mental health of students to sexual education, uh, I'm Crystal Keen. was Crystal Keene, a licensed nurse appointed by District 7 trustee Marsha Landry. Public records show Keene is married to Matthew Mazzocco. Their Stone Oak home was raided by the FBI in January 2021, shortly after the Capitol insurrection. Mazzocco posted this now infamous selfie on Facebook with the caption, the Capitol is ours, despite later deleting the picture. Below his Facebook profile. Mazzocco was outed by social media users and parents of a San Antonio youth sports league to which he belonged. The feds eventually charged him with entering a restricted building without lawful authority in violent entry and disorderly conduct on Capitol grounds. Prosecutors dismissed the second charge after Mazzocco agreed that summer to plead guilty to the first charge. He was sentenced to 45 days in jail on the federal misdemeanor and became the first Capitol rioter sent to jail after prosecutors had recommended home confinement. The judge in the case criticized Mazzocco for denying a riot had taken place and for blaming the violence at the Capitol on Antifa. Late last month, KSAT attempted to speak with Keene and Mazzocco at their far north side home. But no one came to the door. So days later... Crystal, do you have a few minutes to talk to us? We caught up with Keene before the start of the public shack meeting. I just want to ask you a few questions about your appointment to the committee. Uh, we, I do that pretty much every single day. So Any comment on that? My husband served his time that was given to him by the judge. I'm a separate person from my husband. So if you want to interview Matt, you can definitely do that. Through his criminal attorney, Keene's husband said he didn't want to be interviewed and had no comment. Mazzocco, who finished his federal sentence in February of last year, resumed a social media presence after his release. Many of his Facebook posts are public. In them, he repeatedly compares President Joe Biden to Adolf Hitler, has reposted racially insensitive content, <laughs> and launched into written tirades against out-of-state school boards, writing last October, quote, there are a lot of child molesters out there. A lot of them wear suits and ties. A day later, Mazzocco shared this video of a parent berating a North Carolina school board over a widely banned book that was found in a seventh grade classroom. Any teacher that puts material like this on his or her bookshelf is time either is a bad teacher or a pedophile who grooms Thank children. Mazzocco wrote, quote, these pedophiles are everywhere and they want to have sex with your kids, literally. Patrick Von Dolan, one of the founders of the San Antonio Family Association and a frequent critic of NEISD sex education curriculum, said Keene's credentials as a nurse for 14 years trump any concerns about who she's married to, his criminal record, or what he posts on the internet. Crystal's a friend and, uh, and uh, been um, known her for several years, and I would say that that's a private matter for them that they need to discuss. But Von Dolan concedes. Who are not influenced by their spouses. I'm influenced by my wife. And uh, hopefully, and usually, she would certainly say for the better. Internal NEISD records obtained by KSAT show Keene has frequently tracked the communications of NEISD board members, including its president, Shannon Grona, has asked for records on district drug abuse instruction and school behavior plans, and last October even accused its board of not following the bylaws of SHAC, the committee she now belongs to. In February, in an email to NEISD superintendent about banned books, Keene incorrectly questioned whether an employee of the Chicago-based American Library Association was actually a district employee with a similar name. 
The superintendent politely informed Keene they are not the same person. For KSAT Investigates, I appreciate the um, camera. I'm Dylan Collier. A trustee, Marsha Landry, did not respond to emails from KSAT asking her about the appointment of Keene, whose term runs until 2025. The School Health Advisory Council makes recommendations to the board, but cannot vote on new policies or curriculum for the district. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.